Good morning. Here at Aged and Cured at Kitchen Kettle, we're going to be stretching mozzarella. So I'm going to be showing you how we stretch the mozzarella and what we use to stretch it. So today we are going to be breaking these off into small pieces. Our curds come from Caputo Brothers, which is a local company. And we have to break these down to, I'd say about dime to quarter size. You don't want them too small and you don't want them too big um, because we'll be using water that is about 212 degrees to heat the curds up. And if they are little bite-sized pieces, that will help with heating up the curds to make them soft so we can begin stretching the mozzarella. So once we get these broken down, we're also going to add salt. So we use a sea salt or you use a kosher salt. And you'll notice when I start to add the salt, it'll look like a lot. It is. But a lot of the salt will stay in the water and you'll notice that when we begin. So right now I'm going to start adding the salt. So you want to take a heaping handful and you want to kind of sprinkle it around. We're going to do three to four because it's about two, two and a half per pound. So now we'll do a little bit more for good luck. So what we're also going to do is start to mix the curds around. And while I'm mixing, I'm also checking for bigger pieces that will just break. So you can see all the curds are ready. And what we're gonna do next then is add our water. And once again, the water is gonna be about 212 degrees. So it is quite hot. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, you'll see I'm pouring the hot water. And you don't wanna fill it all the way to the top. You just wanna cover the curds with the hot water. And what we're gonna do then is let the curds sit. And once they're in this water for a little bit, you'll actually start to see them kind of go together. They'll start to form themselves. They'll soften up and we'll start to move them. So what I'm gonna do now is check the curds to see if they're ready to be stretched. Um, I believe we have to add a little bit more hot water. They're not quite ready yet and the water has cooled down. So what I'm gonna do is add this to the bath water and we're gonna let it sit again for a little bit. But meanwhile, I'll explain a little bit about the curds. So true mozzarella is made from water buffalo. So we cannot call this true mozzarella, so we actually call it pure delatte. It is made from cow's milk, not from water buffalo. So now we're ready to stretch the mozzarella, but truly this mozzarella will stretch itself. So as you can see from the little pieces of curds, it has formed into a big mass of mozzarella. So what I'm gonna do is take that onto my paddle and I'm going to lift it and I'm gonna let the mozzarella stretch itself. And we wanna keep the paddle, as you see, up in the air and that'll help stretch the mozzarella. And as you can see, you'll see lumps and bumps. So what we wanna do is try to stretch about 80% of those lumps and bumps out. And we'll probably stretch about two to three times you don't want to stretch too much and it's not going to hurt it if I go up a little higher. So I'm going to put it back in the water and I'm going to get ready to do another stretch and it's looking actually really good. It has a real nice smooth texture and that's what we want to see. And once we get that texture, what we're gonna do next is then form it into our mozzarella balls. And once we get to that step, you'll see how smooth everything looks. Okay, so now that we have stretched 
the mozzarella, what we're going to do is form it into what people call a sock. So we're going to tuck it, which will also help smooth out any lumps and bumps that are left. So you can see it's quite easy to tuck. So it kind of now looks like a baguette. From that point, you can keep it like this, or what we're going to do is take it and make our mozzarella ball. So I'm going to tuck it and I'm going to pinch my fingers and you want to pinch it as tight as you can and you want to kind of pull it and then it's ready to be put in our water. So it'll stay in there to cool off and you can keep it in the water for up to 10 hours. Um, it does not do it any harm. So once again, what I'm going to do is take this and pinch it and take this and then we're starting to form another ball. So with the mozzarella, it doesn't hurt if I keep tucking it and forming balls. Um, a lot of people from here will save some of the mozzarella and you can make um, string cheese, which is really neat to do. Uh, we can do that. So you still wanna take it and you never wanna tear it you kind of just want to pull and from that we can make string cheese and I'm going to show you how we do that. You can stretch it out and you can tie it into a traditional knot like this and with that one you can actually put in the water as well. So don't forget here at Aged and Cured at Kitchen Kettle Village we sell our mozzarella and we also do shows on Friday and Saturday and we also after each demo we also do free sampling so come down and get your fresh mozzarella it doesn't get any better than this